Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to crop our pages. We can find the shortcut for cropping our pages by going to an existing group of tools and right-clicking next to them, and it's found under the Document Toolbar. So it happens to be this toolbar right here. I'm going to turn it off, and now I'm going to turn it back on just so you guys can identify it properly. It also includes the Compare Documents, Overlay Pages, and the Headers and Footers shortcuts, so you can access them all with this very important toolbar. And this is Crop Pages. Before we use it, I'm also going to turn on my Form Toolbar that always turns itself off whenever I close the program because it's only available in Review Extreme. And if you don't have an existing group of tools and you can't right-click next to them, you can find Crop Pages by going to Document, and here's Crop Pages, and there's the keyboard shortcut for it. So let's activate it now. And how Crop Pages works is if you activate it from the document dropdown, then we get the batch crop and page setup. And when you see the batch here in the upper left, that means that you're using Review Extreme and you're going into the batch dialog for cropping. So you can now choose which pages you're going to crop. For example, I'm just going to choose this current page here and not all six. And I can add more documents and crop many documents at the same time. So I don't just have to do one document at a time. So let's click on Next, and this is the Crop Pages dialog. Before we get into it, I want to show you guys what happens when we use the shortcut for cropping pages right here in our toolbar. So I'm just going to cancel out of this, and now let's click on Crop Pages. And instead of going into that dialog immediately, I can now manually crop a page by literally making a box and choosing what I want to keep and what I want to discard. So right now, let's say that I wanted to crop this so that we didn't have such a big border outside of the drawing area. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to crop just like this, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom right. Let's get pretty close. That looks to be pretty even, so now we're going to let go. And immediately we go into the crop page setup. So we could use that, and this allows us to crop one page at a time. If we know exactly what size we want to crop our page to, then we can go to the document dropdown, go into the dialog, and then we can include more documents at the same time. So now that we're in this dialog, let's look at some options. In this dialog, we can see in this image on the right that we've cropped exactly where our blue line is, and the red line is the old existing page. And so what we can see is that the media size is 42 by 30, but our crop is a little bit smaller, of course. The scale will maintain itself. And here, we can look at the Crop Pages tab, and let's look at some of these settings. We can show all the boxes here or not. So if I uncheck this, that basically just gets rid of the red line. So if your crop is very close to the red line, if you want to see it easily, you can essentially just get rid of that red line by unchecking this. But I'm going to turn it back on. It's nice to see the original page. And we can then look at the select box, and we can choose between the crop box, which is the page size, a trim, bleed, and art box. So let's switch to them, and let's see what happens. And what this is doing is it's changing our page size. So right now, this is back to 42 by 30. And then bleed box and art box are the same, and you can switch between them according to what you need. But for now, we're just going to choose the crop box because that's the box that we just created. If we went into this dialog without using the shortcut up here, then we would choose between them, and then we can essentially use our top, left, bottom, and right criteria to change our crop manually. So that way, we can basically get it to be exactly the way that we want it. We can also make sure that everything is proportional. So that is going to change all of our settings to make them completely even. What this does now is that our crop box has changed. You can see here that it is cutting off part of the bottom, and the left side is showing a bit more than we wanted. So if I uncheck this, we've basically lost our crop. And so what we can do this is we can go and we can use these drop downs here to revert. So we're going to click on revert, and now basically our crop is completely gone. And so we could have also cleared it if we needed to. And here is the Get Window icon. And this is exactly like using the Crop Pages shortcut from the toolbar. So now let's do it one more time. I'm going to get it nice and close to the grid. Let's just pretend that we don't need to print this out physically. So we're just going to save a little bit on the size. So let's make that nice and even. Beautiful. And now we're back. We're not going to set proportional because we don't want to lose our crop. Everything is looking good here. And before we continue, let's look at page setup, this tab right here. And here we can essentially change our page. So 
crop pages is quite useful, but we can also basically choose our page size right here. We have many different kinds of pages that are very typical in the AEC industry. So we also have some metric pages as well, of course. And everything here is available. We can even choose how our page is offset, so we can basically offset it through the X and Y axis. We can change the scale of our page, so we can basically make everything a bit smaller or bigger if we need to. And we have many other options here. But essentially, this is how we crop our pages in Bluebeam Review. Before we finish this tutorial, let's actually apply the crop and see what happens. So I'm going to click OK. And there it is. Our page has now fit into the crop, and it's looking exactly as we intended it. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on cropping pages with Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.